Welcome to GTEC tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to store image as binary data type. In previous video I have shown you how to store image in image data type but Microsoft is not continuing image data type so it will be very wise for new developer to store image in binary format. For this I have to create a table first. Please go to SQL Server Management Studio under FMC database I am going to create a new table to store images first column is ID data type integer second column image name third column is image and data type must be bar binary max id column should, must be set as primary key so that um, changing identity specification to yes Table name is store image. Now go to Visual Studio, create a new project. Windows form application project to view the data from SQL Server we have to create a data set first in Solution Explorer right click on your project select add new items I scroll down for data set right click on it add table adapter create a new connection select Microsoft SQL Server type SQL Server name I'm using Windows authentication. You can select uh, SQL Server authentication also. Select the database name. Test. Test connection succeeded. OK. Go to next. can change the connection string name FMC DB connections checks everything is checked or not open query builder at the table select all column ok go to next next and finish in this project I am going to use dev express control because this controller very user friendly and I do not have to type any code in data source window select the data set and drag and drop it on the form one it will generate all necessary code to execute project expand it select image field
change image control properties size mode to zoom go to code window this code are generated automatically if you want to create this type of project or application typing code so you can type this code manually and the project will behave same like this one finally run this project add new load load some image it is ball load an apple image Add another one. You can navigate images using this uh, grid view, or you can use this toolbar. You can uh, delete it. I'm going to delete this image. I think you have understand how to store image in SQL Server and how to retrieve it with Visual Studio. That's all for today.